broadcasting live from the Addiction Treatment Services third annual beach volleyball tournament with Mitchell O'Brien, Justin Burke, Kim Hopkins, Kim Ryan, Marnie Winfield, and your host, Corey Winfield. Yes, we are here today. It is a hot one. It is, there's bugs. It is great. We're here at, what's the name of the park, Mitchell? Uh, Glickville, if you ask Justin, but it is Grelickville Park. Grelickville. I think I called it Grelickville or something. Grelickville. I mean, it's closer. Being a local, it's the Grelick family. Okay. So. But we're out here in Traverse City today. It's a beautiful day, 80 degrees, something like that. We always run into problems when we go places, but it's how you overcome them. Look at that lady. Do you see how much she's brushing off there like these little stools those are the stools you guys sat on yeah, there were no uh, sand the, on those the spike brothers video but she like just had sand like oh she was wiping the sand up now she is balancing mm-hmm. on the littlest one is she gonna attempt to go all the way across and does she fall at this point she cannot balance on one of them so the short one yeah. if she tries to go across there she will face plan she decides that that's not a good idea and jumps down good for I, her i support her decision Good decisions are made every day when you're in recovery. Now, I don't know if that person is with our group. And, of course, the volleyball tournament, it's the Addiction Treatment Service's third annual. And it's usually a pretty fun time. Last year was your first time here. Yep. And that was their second annual then. And what did you see last year that you liked about it and hope that it carries over to this year? It really, a lot of people came together. There were other people from the community that came in, um, some of our community partners. And hoping to see some of them today it feels like every year we kind of reach out just a little bit more obviously we have uh Dukoski and phoenix here that's really awesome and to have everybody come in and we we randomize the teams and just a good time to kind of come together meet new people and, and have fun in recovery yeah we had i think 80 people last year oh 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 hold on i have to break oh. that because we're gonna go back to commentary so she started on the other side we're talking about the lady who's walking on these little stairs I can confirm that she is with us yes she is you, she is with us yes okay um, she made it to a yellow but now the blue is far away the furthest one probably about three feet off the ground I, the she's on the edge and I'm on the edge okay oh. so now she has her left foot on the blue her right on the yellow she moves it back to the blue this is some survivor stuff she hits the green and then boom to the ground she made it ninja warrior glad we didn't bet on that because yeah. I would have bet that she would have face planted and she did it. She, she succeeded, though. She she had a goal that she wanted to accomplish, and she went towards it, even though she was afraid. Yes. That's what this fun events in recovery are all about. Yes. And I have a goal today, too, and it's to call the entire game. Call the entire game? Oh, like who wins? Commentary. Oh, yeah, okay. I've always wanted to be an announcer. I grew up watching the Chicago Cubs, so that was kind of my thing. And, you know, Harry Carey wasn't the the best announcer but he was you know there were a lot of times where he was a little intoxicated I think (laughs) and some of his calls sounded that way but it just seemed fun and I thought man since I'm not good enough to play for the Chicago Cubs that would be awesome to sit in the booth and call a Cubs game every single day this is close to a Cubs game on excitement level for myself at least I could get it on tape yeah. You know, so if I wanted to go next level with it, because the Spike Brothers are here, they're signing autographs, I can kind of talk to them. Off to the left here, actually. Think, um, Bump was hanging out by the, the grills and he really looking forward to the hot dogs that we had donated. Nice. Yeah. And is he grilling them now, or? I would hope so. <laughs> see a lot of action. I see a lot of standing around over there. Yes. But we also got Cook and Kim, their number one fan. Help. Yeah. She follows them around the, the games that they go to and sponsored events. Yeah, they're a semi pro team and, and they're here today in Traverse City. They're signing autographs, they're hanging out, doing all kinds of fun stuff with us. And maybe I can talk to them later and they can kind of let me know how to get in with the volleyball circuit. But at least, first, if I get it on tape, then I, then I have something to say. Here, here's my demo. What do you think? You know, add it to your. Uh... Yeah, I've never never called a volleyball game, never attempted to, so this will be very different for me today. But that's my goal. Will it ever air? I don't know. The last thing you called was a, a bingo? Is that what it was? I don't remember. But this will be good for me, I think. And we tried to do this live, but I don't even, I'm not sure why that wouldn't work on my phone. Or semi-live. 
Yeah. Yeah. We got some equipment out here. We have our tent out here. If you have time and this is published in time, you know, come by. I don't know what time we'll be here till seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Who knows? Well, I, I probably won't be here till tomorrow morning, but you can, you know, until the city comes and it's like, what are you doing over there? You're going to sleep on the beach. <laughs> Which is that a thing? Can, can you sleep on the beach? Uh, there's certain ones that they will let you and they won't, and it kind of depends on. Do you just have to take your shirt off and do it during the day, and then you can sleep on the beach? Yes, that is allowed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure 11 o'clock for most of the beaches, but this is not a Traverse City beach, so it does not abide by the same rules. That's so why we're here, probably. I'm gonna guess they're unregulated waters. Is what this is. <laughs> Spider. bad this is bad news bad news mitchell bad news but anyway we, we should probably we were just kind of j- jumping on real quick just to say hey what's up make sure that everything's going cool working and we'll have to get the, the grill going because it's the last thing around and i gotta make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do because we're bringing pretty much everything the food the drinks uh, the fun the atmosphere so we got to get back into that and have fun and recovery and show these people what's up so we're gonna be flying a drone later yeah yeah so cool yep you have pictures and recaps and everything that you can check out later but in the meantime uh just hang tight because we'll come back with another podcast in a little bit <laughs>